Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to restore a Sage 50 backup file to my local file system. So I've got the uh, file already downloaded. You can download a file from my Moodle if you like or from um, CCI uh, Learning slash data. CCILearning.com slash data. The courseware I'm using is 1665. I've already got it downloaded, so I'm going to quickly fire up Sage 50. So I'm going to click on my start menu, click on Sage 50. When I open up Sage 50, it gives me some choices what sort of file I would like to open up. I'm going to choose Restore from Backup. And I'm going to choose OK. And I'll choose Next. I'll browse for the file. I've got it on my removable drive. And it's called Harmony House Music. And this is the company I'll be working with throughout all of the lessons. I'll choose Next. Uh, by the way, it gives you a list of all of the backup files it finds in that location. You don't want to select anything other than what you've just chosen, unless of course you made a mistake and you do indeed want to choose a different company. But this, this is the company I do want, so I'm going to leave that selected. I'll choose Next. It tells me a little bit about the file, some metadata. I'll choose Next. And the next step is where I actually choose to unpack the file. Um, it's going to the location that I last unpacked my file to. A good spot to put your file is uh, simply My Documents. You could create a folder for all of your companies in there. Um, I've got a folder I've created on my desktop for this course. I'll eventually delete all of these companies um, as they're just for demonstration purposes. So you'll notice I have a folder called Delete on my desktop. So I'll just browse to that same location just to show you how I got that link. That path, I should say. And I'm going to call it... This is Harmony House of Music. I'll just call it Harmony House of Music. Notice I use Hungarian notation, also known as camel case. Um, if you ever anticipate you want to save, uh, share a file via the internet, it's a good idea to avoid spaces. And I'll choose save. And next. And finish. Um, it prompts me for a session date. This is the default date for transactions. So if you create a new transaction within Sage 50, this is the date that will be used. You can always override it at that time, at the time of creating the transaction. I'm just going to leave it as February 28th, 2017. I'll choose OK. Um, I get this Welcome to Sage 50. It, cre it has a bunch of useful links some videos you can watch to learn a little bit about, more about Sage 50. Um, we can do a variety of things here as well, which we'll look at in level two. Um, a bunch of tutorials. So su super handy little screen. So leave that checked. So this comes up every time. You may not have a chance to look at these. You may want to quickly get down to doing your work, but these resources are very, very useful. So I'm just going to close this. And that's basically restoring a company file. In the next video, I'll take a quick look at the user interface. Thanks so much for watching.